welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is the same day I recorded pretty much like the other half of the video. I just didn't want to put it all in one video because it's too much for one video. But yeah, guys, the car is cleaned up, looking great. We're gonna go ahead, um, disconnect the battery and start taking apart the front end and checking what we need to replace, what we need to order to get this car, you know, it is a running drive, but the, the fan is smashed against the radiator and um, pretty much, I don't know if, the, the coolant reservoir is full, so it doesn't seem like it's leaking, but I don't want to reuse. I mean, we'll show you guys the damages, but we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery, make sure uh, we don't mess up any sensors and could possibly blow an airbag. So we're just going to go ahead and disconnect the battery, and let's get uh, you know started on the engine bay. Allah, get hit it. Oh, BMW of San Francisco. Oh, yeah, it's from BMW of San Francisco. Oh, yeah, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> Pink. Oh, oh yeah, man. extra screws. For the, I think it's for the bumper. Oh, it's probably for the bumper, That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. Probably need that. A lot of the garbage. I don't know, it looks like somebody dumped their paint over here. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put that back on here. I just remember that, damn. Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, you just get a new mat right here, and then this is a whole, you gotta replace this. You guys see that? You guys, they always have to put everything at an angle and make life difficult. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative real quick. All right guys, so coming from the front end, notice that the crash bar is perfect. So that's great news, the crash bar is good. It looks like this weird circle here, I don't know why it's there, but if you look on this side, it's got the exact same circle, the exact same indentation. It has an X there, and if I check over here, it has an X here, I'm assuming that, that means it's, it's the alignment is fine, because that looks pretty good. If you come to the other side, it has a negative, negative. So I'm assuming the alignment here is messed up. We're gonna have to take this out of our frame shop, they're gonna have to pull that out for us. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get all these wiring out of here. Get these janky headlights, um, you know, just take off something like this air box. It's not even connected. Um, that we actually found in the trunk. And as you guys can see over here, we need to remove all this stuff, the radiator, all that got stuff smashed in. The good thing about the F30s, guys, um, it's the radiator support is like, it's not a complete piece. It's multiple pieces. So once we take this all apart, order our new radiator supports, um, you know. But yeah, guys, we're both super excited. Let's start tearing this thing apart. Yeah, these fans typically go for about four, about three to four hundred bucks used, almost six hundred new. So honestly, it looks great. Still usable. So the radiator, I mean, OEM ones go for around two thirty. You can still get about a used one with the sensor, about one hundred fifty. Um, so we might just go with that. But uh, obviously, we're gonna try to get something that's either OEM quality or almost as good as OEM quality on this car, obviously, because this is a brand new car. We don't want to do, we don't cheap out on anything. This car ain't worth cheaping out on anything. Let's just go ahead and try to see how we can remove the radiator condenser and then see how we can disconnect the, uh, the fluids without messing up the area and getting into a bucket properly. We could honestly just drain it out like normal people from the bottom, but uh, you guys can see it's on a downhill and we have other things going on in the garage, so we're gonna drain it from the top.
All right guys, we're removing right now the headlight supports on each side because they're completely messed up and we're gonna try to remove the headlights as well. We're literally trying to gut off everything that's broken here. We should be able to get that all in this video. And then uh, we're gonna have to order in some new parts, reapply them, um, drive this to a shop because we can drive it as long as all this stuff's connected properly and then gonna pull this out and line it up with the, the frame the what's it called the radiator support so they'll know how to line that up properly once we actually have all of our things installed and we want to be able to drive it there so we don't waste any money with the, with the tow that's unnecessary um, as long as we get the radiator in there the plastic pieces are there um, everything just lines up perfect hopefully because um, none of this stuff down here got damaged you can see by the crash bar it didn't even get affected it looks like it hit something that was higher maybe a truck I don't know not a big deal for us, doesn't really matter, uh, but it looks like, it was so far so good. But yeah guys, we're really excited, we're just gonna go ahead, my brother's removing the headlight brackets right now. All right guys, so that is that. We ended up removing headlight support, the headlight, radiator, condenser, unplugged all the hoses. Um, obviously we're just gonna bag that off the intake right now because the intake's removed. What else? Also the radiator support and everything on this side. So this side, um, we were worried about what this X meant. Um, I mean, I have, no, I have no idea what, what shops do, but this looks perfectly fine. Nothing looks bent, nothing looks out of place. Uh, something that we did notice though is that this wire um, on this side was cut. So luckily it disconnects from another location that's very close to it. So we just have to figure out what this is. Um, it's the only thing I'm, I, I just don't know anything about. Nothing a little bit of research won't find, but uh, yeah, that side, this side's good. Like if we get the parts, all that will line up properly. It is missing the hood latch on both sides, which is kind of strange. I can't find it anywhere in here. So we cleaned up everything in the engine bay. We might even just triple check, make sure nothing went in there. Uh, but yeah, it's just this guy right here. You guys can see is a little bit, I think it's considered a subframe. It is a little bit bent, but has a bolt down there, a couple uh, welds, which I'm sure we can unweld if we can't get this straightened out, but I'm sure this will straighten out just fine, very easy out of shop. Probably get to that toward the end. We're gonna go ahead and put the radiator, uh, the headlight supports on both sides, put everything, assemble everything. And this, we better bring it out and line it up with the radiator support in the end to make sure like that's the finishing touch. We can pretty much do everything else before we even have to mess with this, which is great. Um, fender has a little bit of a ding there. We'll see if the body shop can fix that up for us. If not, I'll buy a new fender, not the end of the world. But again, we're, we're gonna make sure we try to either paint match this car. But yeah, guys, that's a lot of progress. Me and my brother are a little bit hungry right now. Caught about a day, uh, but yeah, there's not much we can do right here. We have to start ordering some parts. Took out all the parts that we need. We gotta figure out all these guards, what all these parts belong to. Um, I think that's mostly the bumper stuff. It's not a big deal. Headlights are destroyed. We'll order custom headlights. Not gonna worry about that. Fan, thank the Lord that's fine because that's about $300 right there, so that's good. Um, and yeah, that headlight tabs are broken, so who cares? All right, guys, that concludes the video. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the battery and uh, just leave the car seat outside so we can just lock it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start making a parts list. We'll show you guys the parts list in the next video. We're gonna go get something to eat. Before we do that, and before I conclude the video, I'm just gonna go get something to eat. Maybe we have something else to say before the end of the video, and uh, we'll catch you guys then. All right, guys, so I was editing the video right now, and I forgot to put an outro that same day. I feel like it's only right since uh, you know, the, since we saved another BMW, which was the 335, uh, we're going to bring back the hashtag save a BMW. So if you guys want to be shout out in the next video, and if you guys want to support the channel, coping a decal down below, we'll do both of those. You guys' support is really going to be useful. Um, all the funds, of course, is going to be going to my brother. It's going to be his car. Um, he can order the parts that he needs to, to do the build. As of now, he quit his job. He's doing school full time. So he can use all the help he can get. Of course, I'm gonna help him, his brother. I'm gonna try to reach out, try to get a couple of sponsors on the car for him and try to help him out. But if you guys wanna copy decal, support him so he can get this build going ASAP for you guys, make sure to check out that link down below and you'll be shot on the next video. So it's a win-win for everybody. Love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
She got me saying, Yalla, Habibi. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, Habibi. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.